I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So we got to, well, I got to talk about J.J. McCarthy, man. <laughs> Y'all got to speak more on J.J. McCarthy heavy, huh? Now, I just got to, you know, don't get me wrong, man. <laughs> like I said in previous videos, like I said in the live last night, huh? I got nothing against the man. Once again, I'm a Vikings fan. I want to see the dude ball out. If J.J. McCarthy comes out and balls out, man, prove everybody wrong. Prove the doubters, naysayers wrong. I'll be all with it, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll be all with it, homie. <laughs> True Vikings fan here, huh? Why would I be mad if J.J. McCarthy turns out to be elite? You dig me? Am I a Vikings fan or not, huh? Heavy, no cap. <laughs> but I must speak on J.J. McCarthy. The question is... Especially to the Vikings fans, Vikings media, creators, etc. Who wanted him in the building. Who feel like, felt like he was the best pick. <laughs> he was the quarterback. He was the guy to get. All right, cool. So my question is this. Can't sit and dwell on it. The Vikings did what they did. Right? I think it was a panic move. I'm also certain it was a pressure move. Heavy. I still think that Michael Penix Jr. was the guy they wanted. Hands down, man down. <laughs> but it is what it is. McCarthy in the building. McCarthy is the guy now. Bad. So with that being said, how can... What does J.J. McCarthy need to work on, dog? <laughs> now, like I say, I ain't going to sit here and act like, oh, I know so much about McCarthy. <laughs> I watched every game. I know all his stats. I got the eye test on him. Oh, I know about his arm in, in its entirety, this and that. Like some people do for a light, click, and view, homie. <laughs> you dig me? You get my drift? So I'm going to speak on what i seen him doing, playing versus Bama. Versus Washington, checking his stats, checking his grades, homie. And just the overall eye test, huh? Now, one thing about J.J. McCarthy that's a plus for him, a major plus for him, homeboy, guess what? His mental, his mental. Go check the resume, check the track record, dog. I've been talking about J.J. McCarthy and his mental. Huh? Like I said, his mental separates him from a lot of QBs, dog. You know, as far as the mental aspect of it, we talking about mental maturity. Hmm. He could be the most, you know, strong minded QB in this draft class. You dig me? You get my drift heavy. Now, that's all good. All fine and dandy. Like I say, mental fortitude, dog, self-belief, self-confidence. Huh? And I think he has that dog in him. I definitely think he got that dog in him, especially being around Jim Harbaugh, et cetera, et cetera. You dig me? So that's a plus for him. Bam, mental game done. Sealed and deal delivered, homie. Great, great, dog. But guess what? You need more than that mental. With J.J. McCarthy, my thing is, does he have the tools to be great, homie? Huh? I'm not just going to crown him. <laughs> just like if the, dra if the Vikings would have drafted Michael Penix Jr., I wouldn't have just crowned him out of nowhere. Still a lot to prove. Still got things to prove, homie. Nothing is given. This the NFL, dog. Prove yourself, dog. Prove yourself, dog. So, yeah, no cap. I'm not going to sit and crown him like everybody else want to do. Oh, McCarthy's going to be the guy. He's the one. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? How does anybody know, dog? Until you know. Until you know, dog. Huh? So, that's my big question. <laughs> Now, everybody all of a sudden know that J.J. McCarthy is the damn man. <laughs> Cat, baby. But let's say, what does he need to do to really be elite? Well, I think he needs to um, improve his accuracy, dog. Heavy. Because like I said, the game versus Bama, the game versus Washington, he wasn't throwing a lot of deep balls down the field. You dig me? He wasn't really fitting tight passes in. And like I say, his receivers made a lot of great catches, homie. Mm -hmm, yeah, go watch the film, rewatch the game, <laughs> watch it again. Let's get it. Let's talk about it, debate about it, dog. Live tomorrow, live tomorrow. Check me out, homie. <laughs> Let's really get into it. But he wasn't making a lot of clutch throws versus Bama. Nor Washington, like I say, 
Bama a lot of times had linebackers covering receivers, running with receivers. <sighs> Excuse me, you dig me? That's easy work, dog. No? That's easy work. A lot of his passes were in intermediate across the middle. The run game was phenomenal. Like I always, I'm going to keep talking about their trenches. They elite defense on the interior, elite offense on the interior. Come on, dog. All he had to do was sit back there and run the ball. Then one thing I did see in him, <laughs> never giving up, never giving in. That dog in him, taking chances, taking risks. Hmm? I can give him that. Third downs, him him, him uh, forcing the ball down the field. You know what I'm saying? Not checking down. Even though he had a lot of check downs, but I see his heart. his men, Like I say, his mental, dog. That's what I love about him the most. His mental fortitude, his belief in self, never giving up, never giving in, homie. Competitor, true competitor. Not saying he's not a competitor, dog. Now, if you talk about arm strength, does he have the strongest arm? I don't think so. You talk about arm accuracy, being accurate. I mean, can you can you really judge off of two games? <laughs> can you really watch highlights and judge? Now, he made some good throws throughout the season, but was it on the Penix of a Michael, uh, Michael Penix Jr.? If you really sit and compare throws, compare arm strength, arm accuracy, was it on the level of a Drake May if we're talking about strictly arm power? Let's be real. Huh? Let's be real. <laughs> and the fact that people have compare him to Kirk Cousins from stats, game, play, even though I don't agree with it, I think he's a winner. Kirk Cousins is not a winner. But Colin Cowherd, right? Even compare him to Kirk Cousins as far as play. So if he turns out to be a Kirk Cousins, is that good or bad for the Vikings? I say it's bad news, homeboy. Bad news. Heavy. Now, I'm not saying he will be that. I definitely think uh, he's a winner and Kirk Cousins is not a winner. Huh? Yeah. J.J. McCarthy knows how to win. I give him that. He knows how to win. He knows how to not lose a game. I give him that. But if he wants to be really elite like the Vikings obviously think he can be, um, he's going to need to improve on reading the field more. <laughs> Being more comfortable with really putting the team on your back because in the NFL, it comes a certain point of time. You got to put your squad on your back, homie, and carry the load, homie. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's what separates the greats from the good from the average. You dig me? Let's be real. Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins, prime example. I don't want to keep harping on Kirk. He out the building. Good, good. I'm glad he's out of there. Heavy. But we can keep going back to Kirk, though. We see the difference why Kirk is not a lead. Why Kirk is not a Super Bowl champion quarterback, Super Bowl caliber, dog. Huh? We see the difference. You got to put the team on your back. You got to put the team on your back. You got to carry the load, homeboy. Huh. That's what separates the greats, dog. This the NFL. It will never be perfect, homie. And the greats, the Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> uh, the Josh Allens, who else? Joe Burrows, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. The top 10 quarterbacks, the top five quarterbacks. <laughs> Heavy, dog. They put the team on their back, dog. Huh? You can talk about quarterbacks who started playing very well late last season, the Jordan Loves, et cetera, et cetera. Brock Purdy's dog. <laughs> you dig me? Even the Jared Goffs, you hear me? It comes a certain point in time, you got to put the team on your back. And I don't know if J.J. McCarthy can do that, dog. Yeah, I don't know if J.J. McCarthy is up to that challenge. I ain't disrespecting him. Wish him the best, like I said. But I don't know if he's up for that challenge, dog. And I ain't just going to. Nut ride for some likes, views, and some subscribers, dog, just to sound good, just to fit in, you hear me? <laughs> just to go along with the with everything else, dog. Follow the pack. Huh? I'm not going to sit here and crown J.J. McCarthy or no other quarterback, even if it was Jane Daniels. lot to prove, dog. A lot to prove, homie. Prove it, dog. Prove it, dog. That's just how I'm rocking with it, homie. You can't fool me. You can't bamboozle me because everybody, because the majority says McCarthy is the guy. Nah, cat boy. Let him prove it, homie. So that's the biggest thing. Can he put the team on his back, dog? Yeah, can he put the team on his back, dog? Huh? That's what all the greats do, man. Put the team on your back, ride with him, man. I question that. I question that, homie. So if J.J. McCarthy can be elite, if he is to be elite, lead the Vikings to the Super Bowl one day, we'll see what happens. I feel like he got to he gotta improve his just accuracy overall in general, especially the deep ball. You feel me? Heavy. And I think he got to prove he can be a, a true leader, dog. You know, will his talents translate to the NFL, homie? Period, dog. It's a different ball game, a different game, dog. Can he deliver the tight throws, homie? Can he zip him in there, huh? huh? Can he zip him in there, huh? Period, dog. 
That's, that's my opinion on it, man. No disrespect to McCarthy. Wish him the best, like I'm going to keep saying, dog. Hope he do ball out. If he balls out, it's great for the Vikings, dog. It's great for the Vikings, dog. But I just want people to keep that same energy, dog. If if he fails, then Vikings fans who wanted him in the building had so much high praise for him, dog. <laughs> huh? Keep that same energy if he doesn't pan out, you know? Keep that same energy both ways, dog. Stick with your man. Stick with your man. Ride with your man, dog. Huh? Don't be bandwagon, homie. <laughs> Watch out for them bandwagon fans too, homie. <laughs> them wishy-washy people, dog. <laughs> Heavy, dog. They that way about sports. Nine times in a, nine times out of ten, they that way in real life, homie. No loyalty, homie. <laughs> I ain't gonna ride JJ McCarthy's nuts, man. He got a lot to work on, a lot to improve on. Thankfully, he's with KOC, the quarterback whisperer. So we're gonna see what happens. Kevin O'Connell got his guy, like I said, he got his guy in the building. Now how we gonna rock with him? How we gonna rock with him, homeboy? Let me know how you feel about it. You agree or disagree? Feedback is much appreciated, man. Fire them comments up, homie. Fire them comments up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rocking, rolling heavy. Score Vikes forever, man. Win, lose, or draw. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah.